All right, so here's the cards we cracked and what it would look like if it were a pack war deck. And right off the bat, I have to say it's surprisingly balanced. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten creatures. Uh, and despite having the extra land, there is two non-creature spells. Uh, yeah, this deck does a lot. I mean, in terms of party, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards where base camp will actually do something. Uh, with Verizal, there is uh, two cards with Kicker. Um, there is two other wizards for the Expedition Diviner. Um, these things will help make Shire Skull Minotaur cost less. We'll probably never play this as a land, but this deck can actually do a lot in a pack war. Uh, we have a landfall card, Tormenting Voice to help draw more. Same with Fissure Wizard. And just being able to cast a big Verizal will probably just win us the pack war. Uh, let's see how it fares. As usual, we're trying to see, uh, trying to do 20 damage in as little amount of time as possible. Here's my three of every land. So as I shuffle up, again, these are 30 card decks. Um, this one will have 17 land, so only 13 playable cards, which sounds weird, but they all seem not bad. Uh, there are no mulligans, so we just cut and draw seven. Oh, let me grab some dice. So this will be the opponent's life total. And I'll say even I go first. That is odd, so I will go second. All that means here is that I will be drawing after my initial seven. So here's the initial seven, uh, already looking pretty okay. So going second, I will draw on my first turn. I will definitely go mountain pass uh, on my second turn. Nice, I can already cast a bear result. So I'll do forest and I would probably do fisher wizard discarding a swamp to draw a card. We want to find more playable spells. Uh, passing, coming back to my turn. Draw, already having a two drop feels pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna play an island, and I think I kinda wanna wait to cast Verizal, maybe as late as possible. I mean, that would kinda depend on the game, but for this purpose, I would wait until like I play out all my lands or something. So I would swing for two, they go to 18. I would definitely cast Tormenting Voice, discarding another card, probably an extra planes to draw two. <laughs> I guess I didn't shuffle very well. Coming back to my turn, I'll draw. There's the Full Art Forest. I would play. Uh, now here's an interesting choice. I could just play out Verizal as a 4-4. I think I'll wait a couple more turns if I'm clearly flooded, I'll probably just play him as a 6-6. Six, six. I think I'd be happy with that. For now, swing for 2. They'll go to 16. Coming back to my turn. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just play out the planes. Have Wooberg out there. Uh, I guess I'll play the swamp next, and next turn I'll definitely cast Barazol unless I draw a spell. Swing for 2 again. They'll probably go to 14. I mean, in a typical pack war game, they might have something out where I won't be attacking. But this is just gold fishing for you. Core Celebrant, that is something else to play. It is a blocker. I would gain one life, I'd go to 21. Theoretical 21. Uh, pass, uh, oh, I would swing for two, they go to 12. Go back to my turn. Spell Shield, that is a kicker card for Verizol, but I don't think it'd be very useful. Play the forest, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Verizol is a seven, seven. Get the dice. Swing in for three, that brings them to 
nine. Go back to my turn. Have all the land in the world. Uh, I mean, let's make this nicer. Have blue up for spell shield. Shell shield. Shell shield. Uh, I'll play the draw a visionary. Draw a card. There's expedition of diviner. Um, but yeah, I would just swing in. They probably can't do much against the 7-7. Seven, seven. If they do, I do have Spell Shield with Kicker. That would kind of seal the game, I think. Um, definitely slower, definitely flooded, but that's just how pack war games work. Uh, if I were to rate this deck, uh, I want to rate it pretty highly, actually. Like, I might give it... Uh, I might even give it a 10, just having so many creatures. Um, just things to do with extra mana, the Kicker the Tormenting Voice, and Fissure Wizard to draw more cards. This would be a fun pack war deck. Yeah, i give it a 9. I might, uh, if, for all my future videos, if nothing is ever better than this deck, I think I'd just call this deck a 10. But, yeah. What do you guys think?